Hey everyone, my name is Magan and welcome back to Indie Showcase. So today we're going to be playing a game called Starmancer. Um, currently it is on Kickstarter as of posting this video, you can still go back it at the moment. It is a Dwarf Fortress inspired space simulation game. Um, so this is a very, very early work in progress build, it's like a creative build. There's no music or anything, it's just silence. So uh, at the moment, um, yeah, you just build stuff and so here we go. So you've got your build menu here. So we're going to start, oops. Uh, it's made by two guys as well. Um, so for the like, level that it's at at the moment, it's it's quite impressive. Um, oh, let's get rid of that. So we're going to build some infra. No, we're not going to build infrastructure. We're going to build the foundation. Uh, so I'm going to scroll out. Not the fastest scroll. <laughs> not the fastest zooming out. We're just going to build a massive area for now. Because why not? And hopefully it won't crash. So next we're going to build some floors. So I don't know what the, like, I don't know if there's going to be like a kind of story or it's literally kind of like, um, uh, I suppose like oxygen not included where it's like you just survive for as long as you can kind of thing, which I think that's, in, I think that's still in early access as well, but let's not focus on that. We are focused on this today. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to build is my core. So you're like a there's been a tragedy on earth and you're kind of um a human that has uh, merged your consciousness with machine so technically this thing that i'm putting down now uh this is you i'm gonna sit right in the corner at the moment there you go like the, the artwork for this looks so good and the animations are very smooth as well so if you go watch one of the trailers that they have on the kickstart page if you watch the animations everything like comes up and like moves around and everything looks nice and smooth uh, so let's get rid of that for now. So I've built my core. Uh, um, actually, what else? So these are the bio tanks. I think this is what um, you use to make your colonists. And I'm not entirely sure <laughs> um, how to get them up and running, if I'm being honest. I did try this a little bit before. But it needs, obviously it needs power. And I don't know what these little, like, cubes are. So, for example, I can build, I can build a generator. Um, oh yeah, so it's X and X and Z to rotate your view at the moment. And um, what is it? R rotates your thing. It's kind of hard to tell if these have a front and a back. I assume that's the front because it looks like it has a little panel there. So, pop a generator down there. Uh, these need power, so we are. Uh, going to oh yeah still build infrastructure we're going to grab some wires and just connect those like that so obviously when you click on it it brings up the panel for the item um, I don't know why it brings it up down there that's it's a little bit weird you just have to move it up for now like I said very early work in progress so the generator is lacking power and I don't know what any of this means, like this stock thing. Obviously, it's all out of place as well. But that doesn't matter for the moment. So let's get... I think we just plonk some solar panels down. Let's plonk one there. So the solar panels generate power. It looks like you don't need to have wires that connect the solar panels to anything. It looks like it just automatically picks up. Let's just, let's just assume they're wireless. <laughs> so now we've got power going to these pods. Um, one thing one thing I would that would be nice is if you can, if um there was so like I said this is very basic at the moment so you just click on build menu to bring up everything but it'd be nice hopefully in the future if it has like a little maybe some buttons on the the screen so you can bring up you know your wires your water um things like that so different not different layers but different I suppose different layers of um wiring that you've got. So we've got some power. Uh we've got some cables running to our bio tanks. Some of the stuff I have no idea what it does, like biomassa. It'd be nice if when you clicked on it there was maybe a description under the panel or something like that. Um because at the moment I don't know what anything does. So I guess let's just we've got digital billboard, what's that? 
Oh, that's cool. I guess stick one. I guess stick that. Oh, I gotta put one there. Why not? <laughs> we've got a nice garden fountain. We've got a heater. When it's get cold, big shelf, a refinery. Oh, what does a refinery do? Oh, my TV is about to turn itself off. <laughs> Let's sort that out. There you go. A refinery. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna go that way. So I'm gonna pop that down there. Again, that needs that cube type thing. I'm just gonna put stuff down until it um I guess until it starts working. A radar dish. I don't know, let's stick that in the corner. That needs some power, so we need to build some infrastructure, get the wires going to over there. Um and I assume we have to build it from the generator. Oh 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 so I want to delete infrastructure because I don't need that wire there. And we're going to pop that there. Okay. That doesn't appear to be working now. Oh, it was. That was weird. Okay, so we've got some power to the radar. I don't know <laughs> what the radar does. I don't know if there's something else that I have to put with it. Uh, we've got an oxygen machine. Let's stick that there as well. Uh, a reactor? Why not? I don't know what any of this stuff does. Water recycler? Oh, that can go there. That can fit there perfectly. And, I don't know, let's get some water storage as well then, I guess. Um, let's put the... Uh, 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 where's it gone? Water storage. I guess we'll shove it there. Let's, let's put three of them down. And, I don't know, do I need to get some water pipes? Yeah, let's do that. Let's connect those water pipes to there. Okay, so they've turned blue now, so I assume. I wonder, where's that water coming from? <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not gonna question it, but I can see that water is filling up too. So I guess that's good. All right, so what else can I stick down? Uh, let's put a heater down, why not? Because we have it. I'm going to stick everything in one room and just see what happens. See what works. Uh, the refinery we've got. Uh, the radar dish we've got. Transfer tube. I don't know. Stick, let's stick some of those in there. They don't appear to need anything. And. Well. Uh, oh. Fountain. Let's put a nice little fountain in here. Is that it? Or can it be. Oh god, oh god. Um, no, let's delete those. <laughs> delete object. Okay, so they're objects. So that's literally a tiny garden fountain. I wonder if I can make that bigger. Also, it's weird that everything has stock. <laughs> Even a fountain. Alright, cool. So I've got all of those bits down. Uh, doors. Well, I don't need any doors, it's just one big room. Ooh, there's a lot of furniture though. Let's put, oh, let's put some wooden beds down. Everyone can sleep over here. Nice, we've got some beds. Get a few chairs to relax in. Um, oh no, Joe, you know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make everything wood keep the same theme going we're gonna have a wooden sofa next to it and a wooden chest some flower pots a wooden shelf uh gonna have, oh, i'm gonna put nice little small tables in front and then i'm gonna have a big table here in front of the sofa but you know what that means i have to have i have to have uh seats on the other side oh. See that does that now see now that does kind of bother me that everything's all not nicely lined up. So what I'll do, I'll put some more tables here. This already looks so ugly. <laughs> and we get the chairs. So each person has a table on their own, and then you've got a big table with sofas either side, so everyone can chill out and relax. That's nice, I like that. Oh and then we've got a thin wooden table. Oh, I'll use that instead. There, that ma makes me feel much nicer. Makes me feel better, even. Uh, let's rotate the wardrobe. That can... Oh, but if I put that there, they can't get to their beds. 
uh, the chairs even. So wardrobes, I'm going to stick along oh, uh, the walls here. So three wardrobes. Oh wait, hold on. Three wardrobes, one for each person. And okay, cool. That's it for the uh, furniture. Dev, what is dev? Oh, is it? Oh god. Big fire. Oh, so you can put fires down. Cool. A wreck. I'm not going to put any of those down. We have some sort of vault. I guess. Joe, you know I'm going to delete that fountain. <laughs> it's it's serving no purpose being there. Uh, so a vault. Let's stick a vault next to these guys. And uh, oh, we've got a nice little monument. Monument. Where should I put that? Ah, let's stick that there. Door damage. No, we won't. Don't floor damage. No, we don't want any of that. Okay, cool. So that's it for death health. <gasps> Drinking fountain. Let's stick that. <laughs> let's just put it here. I'm just putting stuff around randomly because I just kind of want to see what everything looks like. Ooh, first aid station. So that needs to go on a wall. And I'm going to pop that. Uh, I don't know. Let's stick it here. Against that wall. Got an incinerator. Is that the right way around? I assume that's the right way around. Did that? That looks like it might be in the wall. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Again, that's better. Uh, let's go back to health. Incinerate, we've got that. Medical bed. Let's put... Let's put those with the regular. Over by the regular beds. Or, you know, the uh, the health station. That might make more sense. <laughs> Medical desk. Let's rotate that. Stick that there. A morgue drawer. Oh, that's ominous. My my dad can uh, sit next to me. We've got a sink. Uh, does that will that go there? Yeah. And a toilet. I feel like I should make. Hmm. I'll put the I'll put the toilets over by the incinerator. Why not? I got two toilets. All right. So that's everything in the health. Um, security, security checkpoint. Okay, cool. We'll stick that there. Emergency center. Yeah, cool. That goes there. Ooh, a gun range. Stick two of those in. A sentry gun. Uh, let's have one on either side. I'm gonna get delete that one there. Ooh, and a big sentry gun. Okay, let's just have all the sentry guns and a weapons locker. So that's the security stuff. And then farm and food. Ooh. Ooh, food counter. Okay, this is... Uh, it's more of a for food storage area, isn't it? Dish drop-off. All right, that can go there. Oven. Stick that there. Food recycler. I guess that can go there. A fridge. Nutrition brick creator. Alright, that can go there. <laughs> Crop drop off. That can go there. Let's get a fish farm going. Womp. And let's let's put some crops down. Um here, why not? Ooh, okay, so everything now everything needs like power and water and things like that. So um, it was built infrastructure, wasn't it? Okay, power. Uh, let's just put some power down to there. And bring power to all these bits. And I'm not being very elegant with this at all. <laughs> because I just kind of want to see what everything does. Uh, so you don't have to place water pipes under the thing. Oh, I don't think you can anyway. You just have to bring it next to it. 
which is weird because technically they're under the floor so shouldn't it go you should be able to do it under it's like this one because i put the water pipes there already and then put the thing on top it looks like it's gone under okay so that's got some water i wonder if i can just oh i can so rather than having to bring it all the way around i can just carry it on through stuff And oh, I don't know what these need. Oh, no pipe output for dirty water. Interesting. Can I put? Hmm. So how do I? Does dirty water go in back into this then? I, I guess it must do. All right, let's do that. Wait, it was these, wasn't it? Yeah, no pipe up for dirty water. Okay, cool. So, um, wait, why is it doing that there? <laughs> uh, water pipe. We'll bring that over. And you can use the WASD keys to like move around the stuff as well, so you don't have to drag everything. I guess. Yeah, so now they have a. Yeah, so I'm not getting that um, that warning anymore. Let's get some vents in. Because I can only assume. Oh, oh, nutrition brick. Option A, option B, option C. I don't know what that is. Lacking resources. Yeah, but I don't know what those resources are. That's the thing. Because these things have them too. As does this. Refinery. Oh. <laughs> it says something down the bottom. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to ignore that for now. I don't know if that's coming up on my screen. It absolutely is. Just ignore all of that. Uh, medical bed has got a slider from zero to seven. I don't know what any of this means. Uh, oh, let's clear. Whatever that, whatever that was. Digital board. So yeah, each thing in the info got like O2 power, power H2O water oxygen again i don't know what any of these means let's go something that actually has water nope nope those numbers don't change like even for power it doesn't change okay but i mean everything looks like really nice let's zoom right in so even when you move around everything like that movement it's so smooth. When you hold down the right mouse, right mouse button, you can move it as well. But if, it feels a bit like, Wee! <laughs> it'd be nice if there was a button to bring it back to, oh, okay. Yeah, if there was a, there would be nice if there was a button or something that you could press on the keyboard. I don't know what the key bindings are. Um, that brings you straight back to your core. That would be space. <laughs> because obviously like I can, Move around, but oh, I'm lost. I don't know where my base is now. So you can completely move out of where you, you're, you are. Hit space and it'll bring you back. But it doesn't seem to bring you back to the core. It seems to bring you, bring you back to, like, just the main room. Um, heater. So, yeah, I don't know what any of these numbers and stuff mean. I don't know what this little box indicates because it would have been nice if I could have got some uh, colonists like up and running, but I don't know how to do that. So with the crop spots, you can select the type of crop you want. See, and I don't know what that is. Apply, revert, that does nothing. Can I just stick everything there? <laughs> Let's just click everything, see what it does. Apply. I don't know if that's going to do anything. 
But yeah, I, like everything looks so like nicely done. Like the animations and everything are really like good. And I think it's going to be a really, really interesting game once it's like fully done. Because it's saying on the on the Kickstarter page that like your the choices that you make have consequences, and nothing's ever down to just luck. So what you do completely can affect everything else. So I know the colonists can rise up against you. They can come and try and destroy your core. Um, I don't know if that will end the game. And you have to start completely again. That's one thing I'm not too sure on. Uh, you've got like space pirates that come and attack. Uh, if you don't like reinforce your walls or if you've got too much stuff, they might get wind of it and come and like hunt you down. Um, yeah, it just it seems really, really interesting at the moment. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, so I'm going to leave things here for now. If you can figure out what these little key things are, um, please let me know in the comments down below because I want some colonists. I want some people. I think there's going to be a lot of customization as well. Like you can change like the uh, clothes they wear, hair, eye color, things like that. Um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Let me just have a quick look at the Kickstarter. Oh yeah, they've got like stretch goals on there as well. It has been fully funded already, so this is um, completely going into like development. Uh, so they're going to expand something. <laughs> uh, oh, the, yeah, they can expand the team, do a creative mode, so more like this. Um, add a robot faction, but I think there's going to be different modes as well. So like you've got the story mode, like creative mode. Um, Oh, some more consequences of your actions performing missions or trading with a faction can lead to long-lasting relationships. But it will upset the enemy, so there'll be different factions. What you do with one might upset the other. Um, and it says, even if your entire station inev inevitably dies, it's not game over. You are a Starmancer after all. Simply grow a fresh batch of colonists and start a new story. So they're really focusing on creating your own stories within this um, universe that you're in. And then your colonists can have like jobs and skills and things like that. And yeah, it just seems it seems like a like a really, really interesting like concepts and game. And it pushes things a little bit further than stuff like like I said, um like oxygen not included, it pushes things further than that. Cause in that you're kind of confined to one space. This is like a, a whole universe really. So yeah, it's gonna be very interesting. So again, <laughs> alright, I'm gonna leave things here now, I'm gonna stop talking about it. Um, go to the Kickstarter page, there's the creative demo, which you can download for yourself. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, consider backing this as well. There, there's a whole list of like extra stuff that you can get depending on what tier you go for. Um, and yeah, watch the videos because it shows a lot more of what is ultimately going to be like the finished game. So that's it from me. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.